Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today I'm going to be showing you all my makeup collection. So I'm super excited to be filming this for you guys because it has been requested for quite some time now and after I did my room tour of my office, this space that I'm in right now, um, I did say that I was going to film a video of my makeup collection and storage but I've just put it off because I am such a perfectionist. But for now, I am pretty happy with the way that everything is set up. So I am finally going to show you guys. So I guess I should start off with a disclaimer. Um, I have a lot of makeup. Yes, I have a lot of makeup. I buy a lot of makeup. I love makeup. But let's face it, you knew what you were clicking on when you clicked on this video. So if you don't like these kind of videos, why'd you click on it, huh? But all jokes aside, really, I do have quite a bit of makeup for one person um, and yeah let's just leave it at that so if you don't like these videos then please don't leave any negative comments with that being said I'm gonna show you my makeup collection let's go um so this is where I sit and do my makeup every day and then this is the thing that houses and stores all the rest of my makeup this dressing table was from Ikea it is the Malm dressing table, I think that's what it's called. I've had mine for about two years now and it's served me really well. And the thing I love about it most is that it does have a drawer and a glass top, which means it's really easy to clean, which is awesome when it comes to makeup. Underneath, I just have um, a couple of bags full of empty products, um, a trash can and then this stool. This stool I got from Home Art a couple of years ago, but that store has been shut down. So I'm sure you can find like um, something like this on eBay. So the mirror on top of my dresser is from Kmart. It was $29 which is super inexpensive because it is a massive mirror and it's really pretty as well. On top of the mirror I have this light and I picked it up from Bunnings um, about two years ago as well. I do have two of them but at the moment I only use one. It's just really good for doing your makeup especially because it is um, fluorescent so you can pretty much see everything that you're putting on. So on top of my desk in this corner I have a double sided mirror, one is magnified, one is normal and this was $7 from Kmart if you guys are wondering so it's really inexpensive. These brush holders were from Target at the end of last year but um, unfortunately they don't stock them anymore. So in this jar I have some rice and all of my eye brushes. Along the middle of my table I like to keep just some essentials so I have cotton round the cotton pads. This one has q-tips and then the one over there has cotton balls. I don't know if it's weird if you can see me in the mirror but there I am in the mirror. So um, in this one I have all my face brushes, just the face brushes I use on the daily. It's an old candle holder but I just use it to keep my beauty blender on top. As you can see it's um, dirty because I just used it. And then I have these roses from Ikea for decoration. I'm super into keeping everything decorated, as you might notice. So in here, I just pretty much store all of the things I use on the daily. So on this side, I have um, some hair brushes and a couple candle lighters because it's probably the most convenient spot to keep them. My tampons, hair oil that is pretty much empty, but I keep it there because I need to remind myself to buy a new one of these because I love this hair oil. This stuff is great. And I also have some brush cleaner, um, my daily moisturizer. Over here, I have some of my daily makeup products. So I have some primers. At the moment, I've been loving this one because I have super oily skin and this really helps to keep it um, not oily. I have my Australis AC Noctua Contour and Highlighting Kit. These are most of the products that I use on the daily. So I have my bronzer. This is my favorite highlighter, some translucent setting powder, my favorite brow kit and blush. If you guys know me, you know that I'm obsessed with this blush. And then I have my BB cream that I like to use on the days when I don't want to wear foundation. Um, my current foundation that I'm obsessed with. MAC Pro Longwear, my favorite brow setting um, stuff. Gel, I guess. I have the Maybelline Hyper Sharp liquid liner, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and also a MAC Prep and Prime pen in um, Bright Forecast. This is currently my favorite lip balm. It's the Lanolips um, 
101 lip ointment in the sh in the scent peach. It is so good. And then back here, I also have some Mac Fix Plus, and of course, I have some vitamin E oil. And these little inserts that you're seeing are actually from IKEA. Um, they're like in the bathroom storage or kitchen section. I can't really remember, but they literally fit in this drawer perfectly. So I know everybody and their mother has this set of drawers, but it is, of course, the IKEA Alex 9 drawers. Um, it just works so well, you guys. Like if you are looking for something really practical to store your makeup in, this is it. So on top, I have this um, box and in there is like jewelry and stuff. And then on top of that, I have these three, what do you call them? Pots, that's the word. They are from Ikea, from the gardening section, and they're really inexpensive. I think they're only like two or three dollars each. Like random face brushes in this. These are pretty much all of my um, Real Techniques brushes, and then the rest are just eye brushes. So this is the first drawer, and in here I pretty much have all of my face stuff. So I've got my foundations, concealers, liquid highlighters, and primers. If you are wondering where I got these containers from, they can be found at Big W or Howard Storage World. They are a little expensive, especially when you buy as many as I have bought, but they just work really well and I like the way they look. So um, yeah, it's more of an investment, I guess. As you can see, the drawers only open so far and I do find that I keep most of the products that I don't really reach for at the back because obviously I don't really need to get to them as often. But if I do need to get to certain products, I will just like remove things and slide the drawer out. So in the back here, I've got a Red Earth CC Cream, some Chi Chi foundations, L'Oreal, Maybelline Fit Me, a Red Earth foundation, but that one's a little bit too light because they did send it to me. And then in this container here, I keep the foundations that I use more often. So I've got the NARS Sheer Glow, my L'Oreal True Match foundations, these are probably my fave foundations of life. And a couple of other L'Oreal foundations as well. And then the Bare Minerals Bare Skin foundation. I love this stuff, it looks like your skin, it's so lightweight. And then in this little tub I've got the primers. So I've got this one by Models Prefer, I really like this one. It gives you like a really pretty glow as well as primes your skin. Um, this is another like illuminating primer by L'Oreal. And I also have, of course, Benefits Professional. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative to that, you should try out the Australis See You Later Pause Spot Primer. It's basically the same thing. And then here at the front, I keep my concealers. So I've got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This concealer is pretty good for an inexpensive concealer, so I really like that. I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This one's a little bit too light for me though, so I don't really reach for it much. Um, I've got a couple more of the MAC Prep and Prime pens in different shades because I love these. This is a Red Earth Concealer Palette. L'Oreal True Match Concealer. That concealer is pretty good as well. And I just recently purchased the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I also have these MAC Select Cover-Up Concealers and I use those mostly in the summer because they're really lightweight and they're good for just like spot concealing little blemishes and stuff. And I've got liquid highlighters in this little tub. So I've got Rimmel Wake Me Up Highlighter, Australis Highlights Highlighter. This is um, the Face of Australia Illuminator. It's been compared to one of those Benefit Highlighters but I can't remember what it's called. This is the second drawer and in here I pretty much keep... Um, like blushes, face powders, um, highlighters, and at the back is bronzers and stuff. So I've got a couple of the NARS blushes, Essence, um, Face of Australia, Red Earth, there's a few Rimmel at the back. I also have Models Prefer. These sleek blushes are really good as well, as well as these Max Factor blushes. I also have some face powders in here, the Maybelline Fit Me, L'Oreal True Match Powder, the infamous Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. Um, this as well is really good, it's the Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder. A couple of MAC powders as well, and um, a Red Earth one. And then this one is probably my favorite little section as well. It stores all of my highlights. This one is from Sleek and it reminds me of like one of those shimmer bricks as you can see. 
This one is probably one of my favorite highlighters. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I also really like this one, but as you can see, it's broken and I'm too scared to open it. It's the Essence um, Highlighter in Gold Digger, I think it's called. And I also have a couple of these mineral powder, soft touch powders from Models Prefer. And then in the back, I keep bronzers. So I have the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel Cream Bronzer. I don't really use this as much as I should, but I have made a bit of a dent in it. I also have like one of those dark Maybelline sticks. It's a foundation stick, but I use it to contour with. And um, my NARS Casino bronzer, but I don't really like to use that as often anymore. And I also have this new Models Prefer contouring and highlighting kit. So you've got the highlight and the contour, and I think it's really good that it's like in this teeny compact. The next drawer has all of my like eyeshadow stuff. So I've got little eyeshadow um, compacts here. My eyeshadow, what, what are these called? Eye pencils, that's the word. Eye pencils, a couple of pigments, um, cream eyeshadow bases, and at the back is um, like small eyeshadow palettes. I've got a bunch of my NYX jumbo eye pencils as well as some from other various brands like this one is from models prefer little eye compacts these are from red earth models prefer this um shadow is really pretty it's from revlon and i really love these i really want to get more of these these are the l'oreal infallible um pressed pigments i think that's what they're called but they are so pretty. I really love this one here. This is probably my favorite. And then I have a bunch of the like Essence little compacts. They're pretty good too. I really like this one. That one's so pretty. I've got some pigments here. These are from Savvy. This one's probably my favorite. Um, this is the Maybelline pigment. Most of these cream eyeshadow bases are from Face of Australia, but I've got a couple from Australis as well. That Metal Glam collection that they came out of, came, came out with, sorry. Some Maybelline ones too, I really like this shade. I also have some palettes back here, so I keep just the tiny palettes in here. I have another drawer for my other palettes. I have some old school um, Chi Chi palettes and some of those Revlon quads. This is a drawer that I actually reach into a lot, so I've got... Um, like my brow stuff, tools, what are these? Mascaras, that's what they call mascaras. And then at the back I have um, liquid liners, pencil liners, and um, eye bases. So I have various eyebrow kits. Um, the one that I use the most I do keep over in my um, dressing table. So I've got Face of Australia, Elf. This one is really good and I don't know why I didn't pick it up sooner than I did. But I really like this brow kit. I have a couple of the like brow pencils from Models Prefer and Chi Chi. I don't really fancy eyebrow pencils though. I'm more of a powders kind of girl. Yeah, I've got some brow setting gels, but as you guys know, I'm obsessed with the L'Oreal one. I have tools and stuff, so like sharpeners, um, those little brow shaver things, curler, tweezers and whatnot. These are gel eyeliners, but I don't really use gel eyeliners because I find them difficult to use. And then I have some mascaras. Most of these are unopened or if they have been opened, I'm working through them. So I've got um, some Essence mascaras. If you're looking for really inexpensive mascaras, the, um, the Essence brand is pretty good for that. L'Oreal makes some awesome mascaras. I really like this one. This is the Lash Architect. It has like um, little fibers in it as well. And then, like I said, at the back I have all pencils, so most of my pencils are from like Essence, Rimmel, NYX, I have a Stila one in there as well. The one that I probably use the most is this nude coloured one. And then I have a bunch of liquid liners, although I went through a phase where I didn't wear liquid liner at all, I only wore mascara. So these haven't been getting much love lately. And then I have some eye bases. This is probably my favorite one. It's the Essence I Love Stage eyeshadow base. It's super, super good. This is the next drawer. I have all of my lip stuff in here. Um, as you can see, my organization of my lipsticks is pretty dodgy because most of them are like, you know, in other bags in my car, like all over the place. So. Um, it's not super organized. These containers I got from eBay. You can type in like lipstick holder on eBay and you'll find various sellers who sell them. I've got all of my lip glosses in here. Like I'm not really a lipstick, a lip gloss kind of person. So I've got the most random brands in there. I have a couple of the Rimmel Apocalypse lip glosses. Um, 
This one's really pretty. It's the Revlon Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini, I think. Oh, just Bellini. I've got a ton of lip liners because I'm obsessed with lip liners. Um, and I also keep the Maybelline Color Drama Velvet lipsticks in here as well. Um, those are really good. Most of my lip liners are from Essence. Um, at the moment, the one I'm loving the most is from Rimmel. It's the lip liner in the shade Cappuccino. And then at the front, I keep like my NYX Bottle glosses because they all kind of fit in here together. And my lip creams. So I've got most of the Australis Velour Lips. Um, I have some Chi Chi shades. This one's really good. It's show pony. It's like a um, brown pink kind of shade. And yeah, I just have my NYX lip glosses and also what are these the matte lip creams soft matte lip creams that's it so those kind of just sit in there too because they're all together they're like a little happy family <laughs> all of my palettes stay in here these containers fit perfectly in this they are from ikea you can find them in the like with all the drawers type of section they're like draw dividers i had extras so i thought i'd throw them in here and they fit perfectly in these drawers. In the front here I have my most reached for palettes. I've got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and the Lorac Pro palette. In the bottom is a palette that was sent to me by Sigma. It's the Sigma Paris palette I think and I probably should do a tutorial with this sometime soon. I really like this um, black sparkly shade. I could picture myself doing something with that. I also have this little Benefit palette. I think this was my first ever Benefit purchase and it's just this cute little quad of shadows and there were also um, cream shadows in there as well. In this tub I keep other palettes so I have um, the Australis Bronze Eyed Girl palette. This is actually really good and I don't know why I use I don't use it more often but it's like really nice bronzy shadows they'd be good for summer i reckon i've got a couple of the sleek eyeshadow palettes they're really good and they're super inexpensive along with these these are the chi chi eyeshadow palettes uh, i've got the bases rich gems bronzes and nudes and then i also have the Stila in the light palette i think this is discontinued now but i love this palette this was purchased for me by cj he actually got it for me as a surprise and i really love it and then I have this new contour and highlighting kit from Models Prefer. I haven't used it yet because I want to take photos of it for my blog. And then I've just got like random palettes here. This is the Models Prefer Nudes eyeshadow palette. And then in the back is like palettes that I don't really reach for. This next drawer is four lashes, which is a mess. I really need to go through these and organize them a little better. And then at the back I have a bin full of like random products. I picked up this random sponge from Kmart just to try it out, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, I have a backup of my Chi Chi BB cream. Um, I have this CC cream from Chi Chi as well, which is a little too dark for me. So it's kind of just staying there for now. I think it'll be better in the summer. I have some cotton pads, an inglot blush, and just like a lot of creams and moisturizers, deodorant, just things like that. This is from Daiso. It is so good for cleaning your brushes. And it's even better for cleaning your beauty blender. It gets every single stain out. So yeah, in the front two containers, these are those same um, containers that I was talking about. Um, I've got like lashes. My favorite are these Demi Wispies from Ardell and also the Wispies. Those are really good as well. In this drawer, I have my hair products. So I have my hair tools in the back here, but in the front I have like hairspray, dry shampoos, um, I have quite a few dry shampoos actually. And then at the back I keep, yeah, like my hair tools. So I've got my GHD and my hair curlers, so they just stay back there. And then this is the very last drawer, which is a major mess, but I rarely go into this drawer because I don't use these much anymore. So I went through a massive phase where I used like every single nail polish color under the sun. But as you guys may know now, I only really use gel polishes and all of these are just like your regular nail polishes. So I kind of just store them in here. I don't really know what to do with them. A lot of them are old and I should probably sort through them and get rid of them, but I just haven't really bothered to to be honest so yeah I've got a bunch of um, nail polishes in the front here um, I keep like um, 
nail stuff. So remember when there was like that massive phase of like putting those beads on your nail? I have those little beads. Just a lot of other random like glitters and things like that. And then in the front here as well, I keep um, like nail filers and toe separators. Oh, that's not, I hate the word toe. It's just a really weird word. So that's pretty much it. That's the last drawer, you guys. That's it guys, that is my makeup collection and storage. If you have any questions about anything you saw in the video, leave me a comment down below and I will reply as quick as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you can stay updated with all of my videos. I hope you all have an awesome week and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care.